Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool light ray effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, that is what the light effect looks like right here, right there. So it creates this really, really cool kind of light ray effect. So as you can see right here, there's kind of light emanating off of him right here. You have the light going right here, the light right here, the light right here. And then you have the light kind of around his shoes. You can see a little bit of light right here. And then you have the light coming out of those lights right there. So it's a really cool effect. And no, this effect is not called the light ray effect, which I wish it was called because I wish I would known about this effect um, a long time ago because it's actually called the glory effect um, right there. I know it's probably kind of a weird name um, for an effect, but all you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel right here. You want to go to all right here and you just want to type in glory. That's literally the name of the effect. And then that's pretty much it. As you can see right here, there we go. There's the glory effect right there. If I go ahead and just disable and enable it, as you can see, that makes a, a night and day difference. That's what it looks like without it, and that's what it looks like with it right there. So like I said before, it creates a complete night and day difference. So I'll just go over a couple different settings, different things you can do with this effect. So as you can see right here, you can go over here, and you can just play with this right here. So you can, if you want, the angle, if you want to angle like this, you can do that. If you want to angle up, you can go like that. You can go ahead and just move this all over the place. Um, until you get the look that you want it obviously depends on the different clips you want I think probably most cases you'd probably want to raise it up so it kind of comes down so it's definitely like one idea now you can go ahead over here to the amount you can go to the amount and you can raise it all the way up to a hundred percent right there so you can mess with the amount let's just turn the amount a little bit you can also mess with the threshold so you can kind of go like this so you can keep messing with the threshold until you get the look that you want as I just want to go over different different settings use alpha I don't think that makes and that's pretty much the difference um, right there now just apply it to adjustment layer you can go ahead and apply it onto the clip that's what you want um, right there and that's pretty much it it's just called the glory effect right here now another cool idea is you can go over here to the color board right here and you can go to color and you can maybe change it to like a, a bluish right there obviously it's going to affect the entire clip but as you can see right there there we go now you have like a blue a blue light um, right there but again like I said before it's gonna affect the entire clip but you can go over here you if you want to add kind of a different color to the light ray effect um, then you can go ahead and do that it's pretty simple um, pretty easy just go through here you can go to the saturation you can adjust how saturated you want it so this is a couple different ideas if you want to change the color just use the color board um, right there and that's pretty much you know the basics of the effect uh, right there so if I head over to this clip right here, as you can see, here are the lights right there. Nothing's really happening to the lights, but if I head over here to the glory effect right here, and I apply the glory, I honestly have no idea how it does it, but now it, make, it identifies like the lights. So it creates this really cool kind of light ray. As you can see right there, that's what it looks like um, right there. So you can see right here, these um, light rays right there. I honestly have no idea you know, how it, how it actually identifies where the lights are, but it's a really cool effect that it just makes your lights look a lot um, cooler so it in some way it enhances the light so it somehow identifies where the lights are and right here it identifies where the sun is and it creates like this like, digital light ray effect it's a really cool effect honestly I couldn't really describe how it does it or how it identifies you know where the sun is or where the light is I'm guessing you know, it probably identifies the, high, the highlights or the brightest part of the entire video and it then creates a really cool light ray effect obviously I'm not you know I don't know the exact um, explanation but you can just pretty much it you have this really cool kind of light ray effect off of here you have this really cool light ray effect right here if i disable and enable it right here that's what it looks like right here uh, and then right here just where the, the the sun is right here i already went over this one so you can see right here disable enable it so that's what it looks like right uh, right there obviously you could change the color of it to green to make it look even cooler this one doesn't have that much of a difference um, right here but it has a little bit more of a difference and this one I already kind of went over right there which is a really cool kind of light ray effect so it's a really cool really unique um, effect and the the weirdest thing is not even called the light ray effect. So maybe if you if you you, you could have used Final Cut for years and you may not have even known um, this effect existed. And yeah, it does exist in Final Cut. I had absolutely no clue this effect exists. I've never seen a video on this. So 
hopefully if you've seen this video this is probably you, you it's about the first time you're hearing about this i never knew this existed and hopefully i can shed some light for people that have never seen this effect that want to add um, a light ray effect but don't want to spend like 20 dollars on a light ray preset you, it's actually literally just built into final cut so you can mess with it see if it works for your clips um you probably don't want to use this unless there's some sort of light like, a, like the sun's a really it's a really bright day or you have like lights right there you you don't probably want to just apply it to a like even this like i kind of want to apply that to a clip it doesn't really quite look that cool um but that's just a couple different you know pieces of advice take it with a, a grain of salt it doesn't you can just apply it to any clip but you probably want to apply it where like there's a, a bright day or the sun shining shoot uh the sun is shining through or even just a couple different lights you just want to enhance it it's a small little effect that allows you to just enhance your video and make it look a lot cooler um and that's pretty much it all all you want to do is go to the effects panel right here type up glory and there you go that's the name of the effect. It's just called the glory effect right there. Kind of a weird name. It would probably be cool if I just called it the light ray effect, but it is what it is. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you do these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 210 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.